Check the back bedroom window. The air quality is high. The fine particulate matter is above 90. The IKEA Vinstracar air quality sensor, this easy to use air quality sensor, gives you all the information you need. You can also make it part of your smart home for more great features. This sensor checks the air quality by monitoring harmful particles, PM 2.5, temperature, relative humidity, and total volatile organic compounds, TVOC, within your home. By connecting this product to the IKEA Hub, you can see the air quality in the IKEA Home Smart App, or as I'll show you here, you can connect to Home Assistant via Zigbee to MQTT. In the box, you have the instruction leaflet, a USB-A to USB-C cable, and the air quality sensor. At the back is a small fan inlet which helps draw the air into the sensor and the bottom is where you insert the USB cable On the top you have two buttons a small link button and the large button to turn on the display light Plug in the USB cable and the room air quality information will be displayed. You can then use this as a standalone or you can connect it to your smart home. You can press the large button just to turn the light on and off. Press and hold the large button to enter setup, then release. You can now set the display brightness from low, medium and high, then to auto light off mode. Press and hold the button again and you can now change the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. On the display, the top shows you the PM 2.5 level as well as an indicator of green, amber and red levels. Then the temperature, the relative humidity and the arrow shows you the level of TVOC, whether it is increasing, decreasing or is stable. TVOC stands for Total Volatile Organic Compounds. For example, paint, cooking or cleaning and household products. See my previous videos on how to install Zigbee to MQTT. I will leave a link in the description below. On the sidebar, click Zigbee to MQTT. To add a device, on the top right, click Permit Join. Then on the device, Set the pairing mode. On the IKEA air quality monitor, click the link button four times. The device should now appear and set up. You can click the blue edit button to rename the device.
Then when you click on the device, you will see all the settings and under the Expose section, it will show you what information is shared with Home Assistant. And here's a quick look at all the other tabs. Then within Device and Services, find MQTT and you will see the devices that have been added. Here you can add automations or add controls and information to your dashboard. You can see historic data by selecting each sensor. You can select up to three days at a time. And on the PM 2.5, it hasn't changed much. Temperature. on the VOC information. To add an automation, go to Settings, Automation and Scenes, then Create Automation. Set the trigger as the Air Quality Monitor, monitor. Then choose which sensor. I will select the PM 2.5. I'll set a low number for this test, but you can input any number you require. And I'll set it to only go off if it's above that level for a minimum of two seconds. Then select time. Under condition. And select the time the automation will run from and the days that it'll run. I'll select all the days of the week. To announce on an Echo device, under Actions, select Call Service. Select the required Echo device. Under Data, enter Type, colon, space, TTS, which stands for Text to Speech. Then in the message body, type the announcement message. Then you can save and you can now test the automation by clicking on the top three dots and clicking run.
Check the back bedroom window, air quality has changed. Hit the like and subscribe button and if you have any questions or comments leave them down below.